Okay, so as always, you're very welcome, great to see you and hope you enjoy the session. Just always take yoga or any exercise at your own level. So, you know, we can be different, different days. So just do whatever your body feels right today. And we're gonna, you know, Easter time, I, it's a season I love. I just think it's, it's bright and it's renewing and things are growing, things are changing. So we're gonna do yoga for re renewing. So we're gonna renew ourselves today, clear out, let go of anything and brighten up our energy and our aura. So we start with just warming up. So shaking your hands, just shake out your legs. So we're just loosening, moving your arms around. And as much as you can, just keep your mind present. Keep your mind where we are. Stretch up to the ceiling, up on your toes. Breathe in and breathing out, relax. And again, stretching up, breathe in and breathe out. And once more, inhale and exhale. Okay, reach up to the ceiling and to the side, inhale. Exhale to the other side. Back again, breathing in, breathing out, going the other way. And again, breathing in and breathing out, going back. Just gently feel the movement. Back into the middle, shrugging out your shoulders and go the other way. Dropping them forwards. Okay, nice big circles with the hips. And go the other direction. So feel the movement, be aware of it there. We're loosening everything, feet together, rolling your knees. And go the other way. Okay, give the legs a basher, warm muscles. Give your knees a rub, back of your knees, half muscles, and back up to your hips again. So just massage all around the hip joint, the hip bones there, and the lower back. Okay, so feet about shoulder width apart, hands up in front. We're going to do a short salute. Bend your knees, breathe in, look back. Breathing out, float up to the ceiling. Down again, inhale, push back, look back. Breathe out, float up to the ceiling. And again, breathing in. Breathing out, coming back up. And relaxing your arms. Step out a little bit, stretch up to the ceiling. Reach down. Hands on the floor, if you're comfortable with that. Walk your hands back, breathing out. Coming forwards, breathe in. And breathing out, going back. Bend your knees, let your arms swing forwards and backwards. Breathe in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. Reach up to the ceiling, breathe in. Imagine you're trying to touch the sky. Breathing out, bend your knees, relax. And again, stretch up, breathing in. Breathing out, relax. Let your arms float from side to side. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. And roll up into standing, swing your arms around your body. So in your mind, tell yourself you're letting go. If there's anything that's stuck, needs to free out, just let it go. Let your head go back behind you as well. Very good. And then bring your arms out to the side, Breathe in, bending your knees, coming into the middle, breathing out, spreading out. Feel your arms spreading out, breathing in, 
breathing out, just spreading out your energy as well. Inhale and exhale. Once more, breathing in and breathing out. And relax your hands. Bring your feet in a bit closer again, but shoulder width apart. Relax down your shoulders. Pull in your tummy, so pull your belly button just gently in and up. Head looking straight ahead, and maybe if you want, palms facing out. This is the mountain pose. So I want you to connect through your feet into the ground. So just spread out your feet, make sure they're comfortable there. Spreading your toes. And just be aware of the point of contact with the ground. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, letting go. And again, inhale. And exhale. And just in your mind yourself, just set an intention for the session for the week. Good. And just imagine now you're brightening up straight away. You're letting go any, any negativity or any challenges, any concerns or worries. Stop thinking, just let it drop, just drop off. It's like raindrops dropping off, letting go. And you'll notice your own energy is even stronger there. Great. Um, moving your fingers, just gently moving your fingers and moving your toes. Okay, drop your chin to your chest, inhale. Exhale, look up to the ceiling. Down again. So you're just moving your neck, breathing in, breathing out, looking back. And again, inhale, dropping down your head. Exhale, looking back. Keep your head back, roll your ear to your shoulder, breathe in. Roll it to the other side, breathing out. Back again, breathing in. And breathing out, going back. Drop your head forward, rolling all the way over. Look over your shoulder. And rolling back the other way. And again, breathing in. And breathing out, going back. Looking straight ahead, drop your ears sideways, inhale, exhale to the other side. And again, inhale, and exhale going back. Looking straight ahead, shrug your shoulders, clench your fists, tighten your feet, breathing in, and letting go. And again, tighten everything, inhale, exhale, letting go. And once more, breathing in and exhale. Okay, tapping your heels, so just your knees nice and soft. Tap your heels into the ground. So you're letting go. Then tap your chest, you can relax your heels, inhale. Ah, let me go. And again, inhale. Ah, verbally letting go is good. Once more, inhale. Ah, tapping your head. Just listen to the sound it's making and be aware of how it feels. Make sure you do around the back of your head as well. 
and where your neck and your skull meets. Tapping there, tapping down your neck. So you're just tapping all around and around the front of your neck. And especially there by the collarbones, just below your collarbone. Okay, and just massage across your forehead. Imagine it's like sweeping across your forehead, releasing any stress, anything that might be stuck. Give your eyebrows a pinch. You're just pinching down along the eyebrows, pinching your earlobes. And massage in front and behind your ears. That's a really good balancing move there, just in front and behind the ears, especially in front of the ears. And just do along your jawline. You're just letting go. So we'll be springing out, our magic, our energy will be jumping up even stronger after today. Okay, give your hands a really fast rub. The back of your hand, your arms, give your arms a rub. And especially for the week ahead, you know, when you're having a shower or if you're, you know, around the place doing a bit of energy, just make sure you're rubbing everything. Just so that you're clearing out, freeing up. Okay, so feet together, bending down, breathing in, bring your arms all the way up to the ceiling and reaching down towards your legs. Exhale, look into your knees if you're comfortable. Inhale, bend your knees, spread your arms out to the side, up to the ceiling and back into prayer and again breathing in bending down this is a really good stretch to do every day reach up high and try keeping your back fairly flat drop down towards your legs look into your knees if that's comfortable exhale inhale bend your knees spread your arms out to the side to the ceiling and into prayer and again, breathing in, bending down, just go as far as you're comfortable and reach down for your legs. Exhale, hands on your right leg, keep your right leg straight and bend your left knee. Inhale, bend your two knees, spread your arms out to the side, up to the ceiling and into prayer. And once more, breathing in, stretching all the way up and reaching down to your left leg. Keep your left leg straight, bend your right knee. Inhale, this is great for the sciatic nerve down your left leg. Exhale. Inhale. Bending the two knees, spread your arms out to the side, up to the ceiling and back into it. And relax. So shaking your arms, shaking your legs, so again, we're letting go, moving your hips, do a bit of movement, moving your shoulders, whatever feels good for you. It's all about yourself. And I would hope this, um, a good few have been doing yoga with me regularly, so or with us as well. So I, I bet you notice the difference in yourself, you know, that you're able to move a bit looser, because what we're doing is we're loosening all the muscles, face and the joints, feet out nice and wide, arms out straight, Breathing in, bring your right arm across in front and your left leg behind. And you're kind of going that direction. Back into the middle. And again, breathing in. Breathing out into the middle. The other side again. Breathe in. Feel your body as you're moving through the air. Breathing out. Breathing in. And out. One more round. Breathing in. Breathe through the spine. Exhale, breathing in and back into the middle and relax your hands. Okay, so just check that your feet are facing straight forward like train tracks, but nice and wide. We're going to do the squat, breathing in. Imagine you're sitting back into a chair. 
Try and keep your knees over your feet so they're not too far in front of your feet. Exhale. Inhale. And back, relaxing your hands. And again, breathing in, sitting back, exhale. Inhale. And coming back, relax your arms. And once more, breathing in, sitting back, exhale. As far as you're comfortable, inhale, keep your head up though. And back, push up with the knees, relaxing your arms. The retraction, hands on the thighs, exhale. Hold the breath, pull in tight. Breathe in. And again, exhale. Let go of all the air. Hold the breath, pull in your tummy. Block your nose if you have to. And breathe in. And again, exhale. This is working all the chakras, all the energy centers. Hold your breath, pull in your tummy and be aware of the spark coming all the way up through to the top of your head. Breathing in. And again, exhale. Hold the breath and pull. And breathe in. And exhale. Okay, we'll do the same standing. Exhale. Hold the breath, pull in your tummy. Inhale. Exhale, letting go. Hold the breath and pull it. Breathe in. And again. Exhale. Hold the breath and pull it. And breathe in. And exhale. I should have said it at the start, of course, but it's, um, you know, if you've just eaten within the last hour or two hours, you won't get the same uh, traction there. So it's a great one to do first thing in the morning on an empty stomach or before your meals, before every meal. Okay, so the triangles, so you can widen out your feet just a little bit, arms out straight. This is working the thyroid and the thymus. Breathing in, bring your right arm across to your left leg. Look up at your hand behind you. Exhale. Inhale. And back up again. It's great for your neck and shoulders as well. To the other side, breathing in, look over your shoulder, exhale, inhale, and back up. And again, breathing in, keep your legs straight, exhale, inhale, and back up. To the other side, breathing in, exhale, inhale, and coming back up. Side bends to the left, breathing in, keep your head over your shoulders, shoulders over your hips, exhale, arms nice and strong, inhale, coming back. Just engage your tummy a little bit. Pull your belly button in a small bit to the other side. Breathing in. Exhale. Inhale. Coming back. And again, breathing in. Exhale. Inhale. Coming back. And once more, breathing in, exhale, inhale, and coming back. 
arms up to the ceiling. We're going to do the fencers. So and um, twist your left foot, push your knee forward and twist your hips so you're looking over the front of your mat. Exhale. Inhale. Coming back. Straighten the two feet, twist your right foot, push your right knee forward, and then twist your hips so you're looking forward. Exhale, back leg straight if you can. Inhale, coming back. So we're nice and strong. We're with the force, breathing in, twist the left foot again. If you want, you can put your hands on your hips, push your left knee forward. Exhale. Inhale. And coming back. And to the other side, breathing in, push your knee forward. Make sure your hips are parallel with the mat. Exhale. Inhale. And coming back. Very good. So bending down, breathing in, pick up a big ball of magic, bring it right up into the air, sprinkle it all over yourself. It. And again, breathing in a big ball of energy, give it a lovely color, sprinkle it all over yourself. And again, breathing in and breathing out. So you can bring your legs in a bit closer. It's surely getting weather for swimming, so we'll have a swim forward, one hand in the other behind your back. Pull in your shoulder blades, exhale. Swimming out, breathing in and out. And again, inhale and exhale. Push forward from the chest, breathe in, pull back, breathing out. Keep your elbows high, engage the muscles. Push forward, pull back. Push forward and pull back. Push up to the ceiling and pull down. Push up, pull down. Push up, pull down. Hands on your shoulders, bring your elbows in and out. Breathe in and out. And go the other way, breathe in and out, inhale and exhale. Stretch your arms up as high as you can. Drop your right hand behind your back. Give yourself a pat on the back. Point it down as far as you can with your hand and bring the other one up to meet it. Then lift your head up as well. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. And relax. Stretch up again. Reach the left hand up and drop it down. And bring the other one up to it. Breathing in and out. Inhale and relax. Right arm across. Breathe in. Give it a good push. Exhale. Inhale. And relax the other side, breathing in. Exhale. Inhale. And relax. Shaking your arms. So just shake your arms, not your shoulders. Shake one arm down and the other arm. And shaking your legs. Okay, and walk about on your heels. With the kids, we're like penguins. So we're going to bring up the child in all of us. We're going to renew and become more childlike up on your toes. And then stamp your feet into the ground. It's nice and hard. Go for it. and standing on your left leg standing nice and strong and firm okay imagine you're like a lovely strong tree make a figure of eight with the right so you can put your hands on your hips or use your hands for balance so you're going behind as well and then 
this is my body, and then do the other direction, swapping over. That's actually very good for the brain to do things in a different direction. Okay, standing on the right leg, make a figure of eight with the left. You can use your hands if you need to, or you can relax them, whatever suits, and behind. Or just go forwards and backwards, or hold on to something if you need to. Okay, standing on the left leg, swish across the right. Standing on the right, swish the left. Great, so we're going to go on to all fours. So just popping down. Okay, keep your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Okay, so arching up your back, drop your head, breathe in through your nose. Drop your back, look up, breathing out. And again, arching up, breathing in, drop your head, breathing out, looking up. And again, breathing in, breathing out, drop your back and look. Okay, stretch your right arm out in front and your left leg behind. Breathing in, nice and strong, exhale. Inhale and relax it down. Swap to the other side, your left, Arm in your right leg, breathe in, nice long stretch. Exhale. Inhale. And relax. Sit back on your heels, stretch your arms out, breathe in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your right arm over to the side and your left hand on the top. Breathe in, feel the stretch on your side. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And over to the other side, breathing in. Exhale, just relax into the stretch there. Inhale. And exhale. Relaxing your arms by your side. Relax your head onto the ground, looking at the ground. Breathe in and out. Inhale and Hands out in front again, and we're gonna imagine you're doing a headstand. So the top of your head is facing the floor. Breathing in, dropping your head down, great for the pineal. Exhale. Inhale. And coming back up. So you can rest your arms there or bring them behind you again, looking at the floor this time, breathing in. Exhale. Inhale. This is working the two or three. Exhale. Okay, and coming up again and into the headstand or starting the headstand. We'll do the headstand today, maybe another day. Breathing in, dropping the top of your head towards the floor. Exhale. Inhale. And coming back. Okay, so sitting on your bum, stretch out the left leg and the right foot by your thigh. Sitting up straight, breathe in and reach for your toes. Exhale. Inhale. Keeping your head up and reaching up. And again, stretching out, breathing in, looking forward. Exhale, inhale, and coming back up, and swapping over, keep your back up straight, breathe in, and reach for your toes, exhale, 
If you are flexible and I'm going down further, it's your chest you should be bringing down to your knees, not necessarily your head. Inhale and coming back up. And again, reaching out, breathing in. Exhale. Inhale and back up. Relaxing your arms, two legs out, breathing in. And reach for your toes, chest up. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Inhale. And reaching up. Into the middle, breathing in. Exhale. Inhale. And stretch. Relaxing your legs. Two feet together, hands on the ankles. And just rock from side to side, sitting up nice and straight, breathing in and out. Inhale and holding it in the middle, exhale. If you're not already, just gently close your eyes and focusing on your third eye in the middle of your forehead. Straight for cleansing, breathing in, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Okay, stretching out your legs, tap out your muscles. And give your knees a rub. Okay, taking your right foot and your right knee and tap it over and back. And relaxing your foot, rotate your ankle. In reflexology, we always start with the right foot. Just follows the flow of the body. And go the other way. And then massage all around the base of the foot. Um, I don't know if you can see it there, but my feet are a bit dirty. I was gardening today. And um, as I say, Easter, this, uh, this time of year, the spring renewal, rebirth, regeneration, you know, everything is growing in the garden, it's fantastic. So if you are gardening, it is brilliant, obviously great thing to do, therapeutic as well. Leave the nettles, okay? If you do happen to see, come across some nettles, leave them grow, because in another month or so, I'll be encouraging you to eat the nettles, you know, make nettle soup or um, nettle tea. It's really good for us, great iron apparently, great for energy. And um, there's a few other things. All the minerals and vitamins in, in, are, in nettles are great. And don't worry, once you cook them, they don't sting, so you'll be okay. So around the ankle and along the arch of your foot. Or what you could do is just leave one area with the nettles. Great um, food for plants as well. If you put nettles, you soak the nettles in water and use the water, dilute the water in plants. Now do all along the sides of your big toe, tops of all your toes. And twist and squeeze your foot, go the other way and again. Push your toes, pull them back, pushing them out and back. Great, and we'll swap over to the other foot. So tap your foot over and back. And relaxing it there, rotate your ankle and go the other way. And then massage all around the base of your foot. Um, I know Easter is coming and uh, people have a tendency to eat a lot of chocolate. So just be careful, uh, or maybe even just after Easter, um, I was just saying it to somebody else recently, and somebody told me her husband had plantar fasciitis. So if any of you have had it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I deal with it in reflexology. Um, it's really, really tight and sore in the base of your heel. So I work around the ankle bone there and along the arch of the foot. And her husband tried everything. He didn't come to me now for reflexology, but she looked up something and 
sugar, sweet things, cakes and sweets and everything, and he would have a really, really sweet tooth. He went off everything or put it way down and his plantar fasciitis disappeared. So just, you know, have a look at what you're eating. Actually, when I was talking about this to a different group a while back, one of the girls in the group said, oh my God, she said, I have a sweet tooth and I do have problems with plantar fasciitis. So, you know, just be aware of what you're eating. See what changes you can make yourself. After Easter, of course. Now twist and squeeze your foot and the other way and again. And that's, you know, to re rejuvenate ourselves, what we eat is so important pushing the toes forwards and backwards, but also what we're thinking. So, you know, if we're on the best diet in the world, but if we're stressed, then, you know, that might be the best. So, you know, try and, you know, renew our minds as well. Okay, so the two feet should feel nice and toasty there. So clenching your feet and your fists. Breathe in and letting go. And again, tighten everything, inhale and exhale, letting go. We're letting go of everything. You know, we might have had something challenges going on today. Let it go, you can deal with it tomorrow. Or deal with it and then let it go. Lying on your back. So relax your shoulders into the ground. Pull in your lower back, push down your belly button. Stretch your right leg up into the air. Pull it towards you, breathe in. Exhale. Inhale, and hug in your knee, stretch your left leg down as you're exhaling. Tuck down your chin as much as you can. Inhale, and exhale, planting the right foot on the ground, stretch your left leg up into the air, toes pointing down, pull it towards you, breathe in, and out. Inhale, and exhale, pulling in the knee, stretch your right leg on the ground. Inhale. And planting the left foot and the right foot on the ground again, about shoulder width apart. Bring your feet up close to your palm, hands touching your ankles. Lift your hips up so we're making a bridge. Exhale. Tighten the tummy and the bone muscles. Inhale and relax down. And again, lifting up, breathing in, tighten everything. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And we're just gonna pulse up and down with the hips, breathing in. Exhale. And lift up as high as you can, breathing in and relaxing down. Push your lower back into the ground again and just wipe your knees from side to side with windscreen wipers. Good for the hips, bring your two feet in together, drop your knees to the right. Exhale, push your shoulders into the ground, inhale and back up to the other side, breathing in, exhale, inhale, and back up. Stretch your legs on the ground and your arms on the ground up above your head. And gently pull in your tummy, push away your right arm and your right leg, breathe in, Relax. And the other side, inhale. And relax. And the right side again, breathing in. And relax. And the left side, breathe in. And relax. Bring down your arms, give your tummy a massage in a clockwise direction up under the ribs to the side, along the line of the belly button and up. Great. 
Okay, so rolling over onto your tummy. And we're going to do the cobra. So with your elbows sticking out, fingers barely touching by the chest, by your chest, and feet together if you're comfortable with that. Exhale. Inhale, bring your head forwards and up, pushing up on your hands. Exhale. Inhale. And relax. And again, breathing in, coming forwards and up, pushing up. Exhale. Inhale. And relax into down. Bring your hands out to the side and forwards a little bit. Same thing, breathing in, lift up the sides and exhale, keeping your thighs on the ground. Inhale and relax in down. Stretch your arms out in front, breathing in, lifting up your arms and your legs if you're comfortable. Exhale, or just do one or the other if you want. Inhale and relax. We're going to be super here, all flying through the air, breathing in, lifting up again. Exhale. Inhale and relax. Pull your hands back to your shoulders, push back so you're sitting back into your heels, stretching out your arms. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and back up onto all fours, exhale. Arch up your back, drop your head, inhale, exhale, look up to the ceiling. And again, arching up, breathing in. And breathing out, looking up. Two knees together, drop your hips to one side and to the other side. And again, breathing in, dropping them over, breathing out, and them back yes. And back into the neck. And just move whatever way is comfortable for you. Move your hips, move your shoulders, wiggle your back. And we're going to step up into the downward dog. So curling your toes, lift up your legs and push your heels towards the ground. This is if you're comfortable, you can stay on all fours if you prefer. Relax your head between your elbows, pushing your heart down towards the ground. Exhale. Some of you may need to bring your hands in a bit closer, breathing in. Exhale. Inhale, walk your hands back to your feet with your bend in your knees and roll up your legs into standing. Good, and shrugging your shoulders and go the other way. Place your head and shoulders, drop down a bit, inhale. And exhale, look up to the ceiling, push back your shoulders. Down again, breathing in, dropping your head. Breathing out, looking up. Relax your arms, look to the left, breathe in. And to the right, breathing out. And back into the middle. Hands up in front, we'll do the short salute again. Breathing in, bend your knees, push back, look back. Breathe out, float up to the ceiling. Down again, breathing in. Breathing out, looking back. And once more, inhale. And exhale, coming back. And relaxing. Shrugging your shoulders again. And yeah. And with your feet parallel, just be aware of your feet again in the ground. Relax your shoulders. Engage your tummy. 
arms relax by your side. Take in a nice deep breath. Exhale, letting go. Inhale. And exhale. Just breathing gently, just be aware of yourself. Where for your feet. Great, and we'll just bring a bit of movement. So just sway from side to side. Let your arms sway. So really now paying attention, especially to the palms of your hands. Imagine this beautiful white light coming out of the tree. Coming from your solar plexus up through your chest, your shoulders, down your arms. Coming out through the palms of your hands. So you can just make patterns either on the ground or in the air. Whatever feels good for you. And as much as you can, keep your mind on what you're doing. You'll notice your energy increasing. You'll notice that buzz from inside. Bring your right hand in front, making a circle, and your left. Feel your hands as they're moving. And reverse it. Even with your eyes gently closed, follow your hands as they're moving. And bring them in close together, stretching them out in it. Keep your hands close together, breathe in, bring them up to the ceiling, spreading them out, breathe them out. Nice and slow, controlled, be aware. And again, breathing in. And you're spreading out that beautiful energy. Inhale, you're strengthening, brightening up from the inside, spreading it out. And you're collecting more energy to unite with your own, breathing in and breathing out, spreading it out. And with your hands close together again, bring them up to the ceiling, breathing in. And make a circle to the right, breathing out. Keep flowing in a nice circular motion, breathing in. And out. Go the other way when you're ready, breathing in. Yeah. And when you're ready, bring your hands up to the ceiling. Exhale. Look up at your hands. Inhale. And bring them down to your solar plexus. Exhale. Just gently bring them in and out. I want you to be really aware of your hands. Oh, so our hands do such great work for us. So be grateful for your hands. And you might feel that heat or calmness or brightness and through your whole body, especially through your arms. If you want, you can have a look between your hands. It might help if you squint, you might kind of notice the brightness between them. Or you might feel it, feel a warmth, or just kind of know it's comfortable. There's no right or wrong. Just focus on your mind. And relaxing your arms by your side, palms facing out. And just feel that lovely calm, the peace, the vibration, even stronger going through you. And I feel it like a tingling all along. Or see it. Imagine you can see a bright light. You're lighting up from the inside. 
And that's rejuvenating, renewing every cell of your body. Imagine that. Thing. And we let that lovely energy out to everyone on the session. So you're giving and receiving. Even if you're watching the video, send it out and you'll be getting loads back. Let it out to your family and friends. So you see them brightening up. Send them the lovely energy, see them smiling. Anyone you know that needs a boost, see them smiling. So we send the energy to all the people we're thinking of. And we let it out to everyone in the world that cares. So just imagine now we're living in a world of health and happiness, peace and harmony, we're all helping each other. Even as well, we all know the curve that everyone's talking about at the moment. Just imagine that curve is dropping, really sharp. Boom. Sharp drop down, and everyone's kind of going, What? What happened there? Great, freedom. I just see that curve dropping now. And we've all learned from it, and we've learned to connect more with the magic inside. So just imagine everyone around you now is smiling and happy and healthy. We're all helping each other, looking after each other, bringing out the best in ourselves and in everything. So we're coming out of this bright, shining beams. Fantastic. So when you're ready, give yourself a nice big hug with all that lovely energy and a nice positive affirmation. Say, I'm brilliant. I'm fantastic. I'm wonderful. I'm super healthy. I am super happy. I am super relaxed and every day, in every way, I'm getting brighter and brighter. Very important how we talk to ourselves as we always say. Okay, so high five, paradise. <laughs> so that paradise is within, we just have to wake up. So if you want to sit down or lie down, make yourself comfortable, we'll do some relaxation. So whatever's comfortable for you, if you need to plan something. And if you're, um, it's just better not to have your legs crossed unless you're sitting in lotus position. Otherwise legs straight, as, you know, don't have one knee over the other. And just relaxing your arms, either on your laps or side you if you're lying down, hands facing off, it does help with the end. And if you want, you can touch your thumb and your first finger together. And just do some breathing yourself, nice deep breathing. And when you're breathing out, you're just totally letting go. When you're breathing in, you're bringing in the good prana, the life force, the energy even stronger. All the oxygen you need. And allow yourself to relax down now even more. If you want, you can roll your eyes upwards. Raise your eyes, raise your spirits. And just breathing gently, just focusing on the breath.
Please allow your beautiful energy to rejuvenate. Rejuvenate you mentally, physically, emotionally. It's a new beginning. Setting go of what everything we need to let go of. Just bring our brilliant self. Allow that lovely self, your brightness, allow that shine out. It's going from your tummy up through your body, your shoulders, down your arms, up through your neck, right up into your head. From your tummy, it's going down your body, down your hips, down your legs, and right down to your feet. Just be aware of that peace, that calm inside. It's in your mind, I'd like you to think of four or five things you're grateful for. Bring your attention to your breathing in. Just allow your mind to clear even more than ever. Notice from now on you're really going with your intuition, with your thought. Guiding you off, time with everything. Bring up that renewed feeling, regeneration in yourself. A fresh start. And we're going to allow all these wonderful and good things into our lives. So if there's a few things that you'd like to happen, just, you can just let your mind wander into maybe one or two things. Could be for you or someone else. And we're going to play a movie now as if they've happened. So you're the star of the movie. We're going to focus this onto your energy. Maybe the light of them comes about. You can pick something exciting. Could be for you or someone else, or a few things, whatever you want. I want you now to imagine that it's happened. So you're experiencing everything, so see where you are. This has happened. See everything nice and clearly. Have a good look around and see everything there. This is exciting now. You're the director and you're the star. Make it as exciting as you want. The sounds, bring the sounds into it. Whatever it is you can hear. And the physical aspect. So whatever it is you're doing. Bring up that happy feeling from inside or how it makes you feel. Happy, delighted, grateful, excited. A child of oh, grateful, 
And then taste into it. And the aroma. And just bring it all together now. Just get right into it. You're actually there experiencing it. So exciting, so happy, delightful, delightful. And if you want, you can bring other things in as if they happened. Maybe you're telling someone all these good things. Just include then that everybody's wishes are coming about. So we're sending this out for everyone here, everybody in the session, and everyone. your attention back to your breathing again. Your attention to the very top of your head. Tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes. Just feel that lovely flow there. We are perfect. We have that lovely energy flowing through us. Just have to let it out. Well, like a lovely new little plant spraying out into the light, shining our light, our brightness. Great. So I'm going to count to three. And when I get to three, you can open your eyes, feeling really good. Very clear, very relaxed. One, two, and three. Me. So it's good to have a good stretch, stretching your legs as well, and stretch your face, so open your mouth nice and wide, twitching your nose, and open your eyes nice and wide, and so you'll sleep very well, those of you who are here with me in the evening, or if you're doing it during the day, you'll be buzzing. You'll all be having a great week, lots of lovely things happening. Thank you. So enjoy.